In this short video, I will show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your seller account. With the Facebook Pixel installed, you can easily track the activities of customers who visit your seller store to buy or check up on your product or service. This will enable you to retarget them with a cheaper and a lesser targeted ad and sell even more in future. So these are the steps to follow to install your Pixel on Scylla. Number one is to create a new Pixel in your Facebook Business Manager if you don't have one created before. And if you have one already, then we'll go ahead and use it. And then we'll go to the next step, which is to install the Facebook Pixel ID on your seller dashboard. And then number three is to be sure and test if the setup is working fine. So let's quickly go ahead with our step one. So what you want to do here is to open a browser and just type in business.facebook.com and then once you click on that, it's going to bring you up to your Meta Business Suite. Okay, once you're here, all you want to do is to come down to all tools here and then you scroll down and look for your ad manager. Mind you, if your Facebook ad account is not set up to run ad already, I already did a very comprehensive video that shows you every step of the way on how to get a brand new Facebook ad account set up correctly and the right way so that you don't begin to have problems, you know, running ads on Facebook. So I already have the link to that video in the description below this video. Check it up and it's also displayed on your screen right now. Make sure you do that if you don't have an hard account set up already. You need that done before you go ahead with this one. But I want to assume that you already set up your ad account in the past and then you can go ahead with us even as we continue the process of installing our Facebook Pixel on our Scylla account. So what you want to do once you get loaded up to this point is to come to the Facebook ad account that you're using to run your ad. So I'm going to come to this particular one. All right, once I'm here, all I want to do now is to come over to all tools here. All right, once I'm here, I'll come to event manager and I will open it in a new tab. So as you can see here, this already shows me that I have a Facebook pixel already running before now. So if you already have your Facebook pixel created before, this is the ID you're going to use to install your pixel on your seller account. But I want to just warn here that you don't always want to use the same Facebook pixel that you are using on another website with seller. Because if you are using one Facebook pixel for two, three different you know, account or to the different website, your data is going to be clashing and you may not know where what is coming from. So it's always good for you for a new account to open a fresh and a brand new, you know, Facebook pixel. So in that case, I'm not going to be using this pixel that is already running on my Facebook ad account. Instead, I'm going to create a brand new one for this particular purpose. So for me to do that, I'll come back here and then I'll come to business settings here and i'm going to open it in a new tab again all right so once it takes me here what i want to do now is that i want to come down to this left menu option here and i'm going to scroll down to data sources okay i'm going to come here and click on pixels all right so once i click on pixel now what i want to do here now is that i'm going to come here to hard Okay, for your own, you may not exactly see this. Instead, you might see this one. Okay, so whichever one you see between the two, just what you want to do is to is that you want to click on the blue add, you know, button in any of the cases. Okay, so you just click on that. All right, once you click on that, all right, the first thing you want to do here is to give your pixel a name. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to name this pixel after my seller. So I'm going to say seller pixel. Okay, so here I'm going to have to put in my URL, which is optional. So I'm not going to just add up any URL here. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to come here and choose set up the pixel now. I'm going to click on manually add pixel code to website. All right, so once I'm here, I'll turn this on. Okay, now for every other thing, I'm going to leave it the way it is here. Okay, for this, I'm going to leave it the way it is and I will just click on continue. All 
All right, here they are saying use Facebook event setup tool. I'm not just going to use that, it, though they said it's recommended, but seller would have done this for you automatically on your seller account, so we won't be needing this. So I'll just click on cancel. Okay, congratulations, our seller pixel has been successfully created. So what I want to do right now is to go ahead to our second stage, which is to install the Facebook pixel ID on our seller dashboard. So what I'm going to do now is that this is my pixel. I'm going to come here and I'm going to copy this ID. All I need to do is just to over my mouse on this set of code and just click on it. It would have been copied to clipboard. So once I do that, I will head over to my seller dashboard as, I can, as you can see here. So I'm sure you're here also. Come down to this hamburger icon, click on it. Okay, so scroll down to where we have integration and click on the integration. So they're asking you what you want to integrate is Facebook Pixel. So I'm going to click on Facebook Pixel here. All right, so it's here is telling us integrate Facebook Pixel on your seller store. You know, I already told you that seller has already done our event setup for us. So these are the events that they are going that are going to be tracking once we install this Facebook Pixel successfully on our seller account. So I'm going to come here and I will just paste in the code that I just copied right from Facebook and then I'm going to update Pixel. Okay, so it's saying Pixel setting updated. Be sure to test the Pixel is installed on the Facebook Pixel event manager. Okay, so they said we can click on this to do it. This is one way to do it. Okay, and then we can also go back to Facebook manually and do it again. So let's just check up what is on this particular URL. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. So you can see that it's taking us to Facebook event manager. All right, so you can see this is our seller pixel here and this is it here on our Facebook event manager. So now what we want to do is that we want to test this event. So for us to do that testing, we're going to come back to our seller account. We're going to go back to our account. All right, so this is where my own store link is. So I'm going to just click on it. So you can see this is my store link. I'm going to copy that store link, copy. And then I'm going to bring it back here and even here, even before I tested it, you can see here that my pixel is already showing green, showing that this event is now active and it's working fine. But in your own case, you might actually have to place the URL manually to do the test. But I think that seller has really, uh, they've updated it. So let me show you what I'm trying to say. Let's come to this particular pixel. If I come here, or if I come to test events, and I scroll down, you'll be able to see this URL field here. And then once you paste in your seller URL store here, you'll be able to open the website and then it's going to take you to this particular point that we have here. So all you just want to be sure is that when you come down to this point, you can see that your pixel is working and it's receiving activity, which is always shown by the green indicator as we have here. So once you do this, then your pixel is working fine. And then anybody that comes to your store, you know, to check up on anything that you are selling, you'll be able to track the event and then use it to run retargeted ad later. So I'll be showing you how to run retargeted ad with Facebook Pixel on your seller account in my subsequent video. So you make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that when I release those videos, you can get to see them. If I gave you value in this video, please give it a like so that YouTube can suggest this video to more people who need information like this. And also, if you have any question for me regarding anything, Facebook ad, business, business in general let me know you can give me a comment in the comment section and you can also contact me using the contact details that i've added in the description below this video and of course if you want to see more marketing and make money online tips like this one make sure you are subscribed to this channel and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when i release my next videos thank you and i'll see you in the next one